All right, let's take a look at um, the extension name for digital certificates because it can be .crt, .cr, .pem, .per, .dir. It, there's so many varieties, it's very confusing. So let's see if we can unpack some of the uh, complicated history here um, and make it a little bit more clear. So we have uh, the first is PEM, so Privacy Enhanced Mail. And the idea of this format is that it's Base64 ASCII. You can open them up and they're very easy to read, very easy to edit. Uh, and it's the most common format for X509 certificates uh, and for um, certificate signing requests and cryptographic keys. So the PEM format uh, normally have the following extensions, CRT, PEM, SIR, and key, key specifically for private keys, but there's no hard rule about it. So just because something is PEM doesn't mean it's gonna end with .pem. Then you have distinguished encoding rules. So dir, this is a binary encoding. So if you open up the file, it's a bunch of binary code. You won't be able to make sense of it, edit it, do anything with it. Uh, it's used for both X509 certificates and private keys. Dir normally have the following extensions. So der, cr. Then there are certificate files. That's where we have sir and crt. These are base64 ASCII. So they're basically, I think they're basically pem. And sir and crts are interchangeable extensions. So you can either have, they, they basically stand for certificate file, right? So that's what it's saying. So it's like, hey, CER is a short form certificate file. CRT is a short form certificate file, right? Um, so that's where they get confusing. So either CER or CRT, these are generic file extensions. Then you have the personal information exchange, PFX. This is a Microsoft certificate format. Uh, this is the successor. So PKCS uh, pound 12 is the successor PFX. And so PKCS-12 uh, hyphen is, uh, we'll use either .p12 or PFX extensions. So there is a lot of confusion about the variety of formats. Um, and it's just because there was a lack of standardizations early on. And so um, everybody was just trying to create their own formats or their own keys and they weren't being consistent. Um, and that's why we just end up with all these weird naming conventions. So half the time you cannot tell what something is. You have to open the contents of it. You have to know what you're using it for. And just, uh, you know, just be aware that it is confusing. Even for me, I've been doing it for like, what, 20 years? And I still can't tell what's what. Um, so that's just what it is, okay?